A road in Delaware County is shut down tonight due to concerns over a building that could be dangerous. Our Allie Reed has the story from Clifton Heights. This building here along Baltimore Avenue has been condemned after the town's emergency management coordinator noticed the bricks starting to bow out on the side of this building. Now officials say residents are top of mind as safety is number one concern. The last thing we would want is uh, an individual get hurt or worse by a piece of falling debris in a case like this. So that's why we've cordoned off the street, we've closed off the parking, we've closed off the parking lot here at this entrance and it's, it's all about keeping the public safe. This local business is now closed until further notice as officials discovered a bulge coming out of the side of the building. They say it could have been from an abundance of ice the day before. Uh, yesterday while I'm sitting in traffic, I took a look over and saw that there was some broken bricks. There was some brick debris on the ground, some cracks had opened up. Immediately, borough officials recognized the seriousness of a potential fall zone, closing the area to drivers and pedestrians. I'm glad that is being addressed and I'm hoping it gets fixed. Nicholas DiDonato and many others are constantly in and out of the shopping center closest to Diamond Street. It's a busy road that locals use to get to a daycare center and a number of row homes. It's also a path for students to get to their bus stop. You want to think about the kids more than anybody else. A structural engineer will be called in to determine the integrity of the building. The owner tells Fox 29 it's not the first time the building has experienced issues. He says back in 2017, just weeks after purchasing the building, he was required to put in star bolts. This time, crews will come up with a plan to rebuild the exterior wall. We'll expedite permitting. We'll, get, we'll work with his engineers. We'll work with our engineers to be able to get him back in, the, in his business. The building itself has some rich history in town, known originally as the Clifton Opera House back in the late 1890s. Officials say it'll take a couple of weeks to come up with a new design and potentially a few months to complete the project. We're in Clifton Heights, Allie Reed, Fox 29 News.